Stop it. Stop it! Excuse me. Bearing here? Yes, that's right. I'll be there. Mr. Baring, sorry to have called you. Your wife said she couldn't look, but we need you to confirm. It's my son. Are you sure? He's wearing the clothes from this morning. My wife sewed his name on then. Todd Baring. Check behind the neck. You have my deepest condolences. Sign here. We'll send you a pamphlet for a mortician. Refer to it if you wish. Thank you. There's a nurse waiting outside. Tell them if you need any help. Now, please excuse me. Helen. It's me. Hey, Keith, you off loitering somewhere? You gotta hurry. The suspect's on the move. Head for Wellington Street. Got it? Don't go. Stay with me.
Oh, dear. Now I've done it. I thought I'd get the drop on you, but you're always going off somewhere or another, so I couldn't keep up. What an awful curtain closer. But hey, that's how it goes. I've done a lot of harm murdering, and you've done a lot of harm protecting. Life doesn't always go the way you want it, don't you know? Detective, can I ask a question? Who took away the stairs? Keith! Keith! Helena! Where'd they get to? Those guys okay? Yeah, that's right. I've heard the situation. I'm talking with him now. Hey, hold on. We... Can you just give me some more time? What? Tell him to go do it himself? Don't be stupid. Sure, he's a detective, but he's a victim here. If you want to hear it straight from him, you tell him that yourself. Why did it have to be her? I can't just say these things happen, can I? It's always on my mind, you know. Guys like us live all bold, but good people keep dying right in front of us. And there's nothing we can do about it. To hell with this. With all of this. But don't hold it in, Keith. You can cry now. I didn't cry when my son died. Keith. Show yourself. Boy, that was awful. But hey, guess it worked out okay in the end. Now I'm able to meet you again. You've got a gloomy look there, detective. Was killing me not enough? Worried about your wife, maybe? Don't worry. She's doing just fine on the other side. With your son, too. Give it back. Give what back? My wife. My son. Give back my family! It wasn't me. It was you! Detective, so you can't even cry normal tears, huh? Give them back? But didn't you just throw it all away? You always focused on your enemy. The one you knew was lurking somewhere. Didn't you notice the ones clinging to your feet? 
I'm sure you did. But you pretended you didn't for the sake of your petty, miserable pride. You just pushed them away. I just picked them up. This was how we would always go down, sooner or later. All along, you never even knew. I guess I'll tell you. I am the boogie. The boogie in your head. Get back! Lance? Surely. Richard? Sophie? No witnesses. Not a single one. I only just heard about it, so I don't know any details. 
We're talking with the police there, but they seem confused. Like hell I'm satisfied with confused. Do you know how many deaths we have here? Come on! I'm going to the scene myself. Get everything in order, Eric. Yes, sir! Hey, that? Where'd Mom go? I don't know. Did Mom die? I don't know. Are you lonely, Dad? Yeah. But, I've got you here. We'll sleep here until Mom comes back. You okay with it dark? Need a night light? I'm fine, cause you're here, Dad. I've been waiting, detective. Oh dear, what a frightening face. A glare like that. Heck, it even gets me shaking. What got you so angry? Ah, David's death, perhaps? Well, there's no need to worry there, because I'm the one who killed him. It wasn't your fault. Yes, those are the magic words. Aren't they the ones you're always telling yourself every time you confront an innocent person's death? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> well, fine by me, detective. You're always biting off more than you can chew, eh? But now you should be asking yourself. Is it because this guy's a murderer that I want to kill him so bad? Whoa there, I know you want to make this quick, but give me a sec. Indeed, once this game is over, you can leave safe and sound. With your wife, too. Yes, your wife is just fine. Well, maybe a little hurt. You know, if you catch me, this oh-so-fun game will finally end. But that's too boring, isn't it? Now, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you can put up any opposition you like. Nobody to force yourself to protect here. So do as you please. Kill me. Find your wife and go back home. That's a happy ending for you, right?
precious box of yours. It smells rotten. There's a corpse in the box. You're just pretending you don't notice it. Helena. Keith? Keith, thank God. I'm so glad you're alive. Keith, you're hurt. Really hurt. Let me see. Are you okay? This is nothing, but you. It doesn't hurt at all. It's just... I was so scared. I thought you might vanish in front of me, too. I'm sorry. Sorry. I couldn't protect you. Peace. Let's continue our conversation. I'm gonna go with D, the bad one. Give me a week. I'll pack my bags. No, I'll leave. You should stay there. You don't want to let go of the house, do you? All the memories there. A week from now, let's do dinner. I want to talk about some last things. A lot of them. Okay. I want that too. No more beer for you? Yeah. I get sleepy if I drink too much. I'll take you home tonight, so you don't have to worry about that. No, it's fine. I need to be capable of going home alone, even if I'm drunk. Hey, do you remember this? One time, after having a lot to drink, you came home with all this food. And when you got home, you started cooking all of a sudden. I just stared in disbelief while you cooked without a word. Then you said, Okay, eat up, good night, and fell asleep. Did... That really happen? <laughs> of course. I couldn't eat it all, so I gave it to you in the morning. And you said, oh, Wow, luxurious. Did you make that in advance? You didn't remember it at all. Gosh, I laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's funny, I shouldn't tell you what I got up to as a drunk student. You laughed yourself to death. I haven't seen you laugh in... forever. Really? If you can smile like that, then I don't mean anything else. Not even me being with you? Sorry, I'll stop. Don't cry, Helena. I want our last meeting to be a fun one. Right. Keith. 
peace. It's your phone. Keys. Don't answer it. We are unable to take your call at the moment. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Keith, what the hell are you thinking? How can you resign and not tell me about it? I want to talk. Please. Call me back, ASAP. I'm waiting. A message from Mr. Anderson? So he called the home phone too. Oh, you surprised me. Where were you? Couldn't sleep, though I thought I'd have a drink. Sorry I woke you. Though there was a bottle of spirits in here. Where'd that go? Oh, it's in those drawers. Keith? Helena, you should stay in this house. Todd is here, and so am I. This house was like a box full of treasures to me. Treasures more valuable than life itself. I wanted to protect them at all costs. But I wasn't strong enough. I couldn't protect them. Not Todd, not you. And yet, even knowing my powerlessness, I couldn't let things go. If you're ever born again, I'll pray you never meet me. I hope Keith and David are all right. It's been so long since they went out. Helena? Thank goodness you're safe! Where's Keith? He went looking for you. Oh, but I'm so glad. Now we'll just wait for those two to return and... Wait! Where are you going? I... I have to go. That man's going to come. He'll catch me. Don't go, Helena. Stay here with us. You'll be all right. Yes, Helena. You should be safe with us. To go out simply isn't... Helena! Lance! What are you thinking? You know how dangerous it is to go it alone? Let go! If I don't run, that man will catch me. So, so then why not stay with us? You gotta calm down, lady. No! If... if I'm caught, Keith will... Keith? What about Keith? Hey, I don't know what you're saying. Hey, wait!
<sighs> Where'd she go? Lance, what are you doing out here? <sighs> you, you guys. Hey, we saw Helena. She was okay. R really? Yeah, but I lost her. We gotta catch up. She should be nearby. I'm taking you back to the room. What? You going deaf? I told you your woman's close by. And what's the plan if you're attacked? You can't run with that leg. You. Don't you tell me what I can't do. Lance, stop it. You know, that cocky freak is scary. But in my eyes, you're scarier. I'm grateful that you saved me. But past that, you're shady as all get out. I never know what you're thinking. For all the lengths you go to to save people, you never show any emotion. Never get upset. Not to mention knowing all about my past and trying to scare me with that. Just like that other guy. Tell me, why do you know about me? I liked your articles about the Bronx incident. They were pretty on point. I was wondering when I could read more, but more never came, because the author had left journalism. Huh? When I heard your name, I had my suspicions. And it turned out I was right. One leading question, and I'd gotten you. I didn't mean to go fishing through your past. I just read your articles. And you talk just like your articles read. Really has that unpleasant attitude. <sighs> you should have told me that before. What'd you have to scare me for? I just wanted to tease you for picking fights with everyone. Want to take it to court? I'll win. I really don't get you. Can't even tell if you're serious or a huge joker. But, I can tell one thing. You're not just an unfeeling Robocop. The whole never shaken thing is just an act, huh? I shouldn't be inviting citizens to panic. Stop saying crap about shoulds and shouldn'ts! Listen, I know. Deep down, you think we're just annoyances. Don't really care what happens to us. Cause ultimately we're total strangers. And you're sketchy as hell for trying to hide that. Why you gotta hide that? If we're just in your way, say it. Don't go so far protecting us that you'll kill yourself off. If you want to save your woman right now, then do it. Go back to the room, Lance. I'll look for Helena, too. Did you forget what I just said? You're an annoyance. Go away. <laughs> right you are. You go back with Lance. But Keith... I'll be fine. Don't let him get hurt anymore. Go. Wait, I'll take you there. You stick with Keith. What if something happens to you? Shut up! It's fine, you baby face. Baby face? I've been waiting, detective. I'm in a very bad mood right now, because I keep losing to you. Life really doesn't go the way you want it, huh? Even when you try to break up the monotonous days, it just doesn't work out. Sadly enough, even this fun game is almost over. Catch the boogeyman and you win. Happy end. But that's all right. I'll put up a good fight with you, detective. Then we'll see what ending we're getting. It goes one way or the other. Victory or defeat. Nice and simple, right?
Who are you? I'm not anyone, detective. Looks like you did things out of order, detective. But still, not bad. Helena? David, where's Keith? We came here together earlier, then we split up. He must be that way. Let's go look for him. Keith! Keith! Please, Keith, get up! Don't move him, Helena. Uh, uh, first we need to stop the bleeding. <sighs> Helena? Are you there? I am. It's okay, Keith. We'll stop the bleeding. I can't see blood in my eyes. Helena, you there? No, please, Keith, please. Hold on. Please, don't leave me. You're the only one I can't lose. Helena? Helena? What's wrong? Huh? You were crying. Have a bad dream? I had... an awful dream. What was it like? I don't want to remember it. Helena, you need to wake up soon. I want to sleep a little longer. Wake up, Helena. The bad dreams are always the real ones. Were you asleep, Helena? I was dreaming. What kind of dream? A happy dream. Good. I'm glad you can get some sleep. Do you think you can eat anything? I'm done cleaning the storeroom, so I thought I'd make you something. I'm not hungry. You need to eat, Helena. It's not healthy. I'll make you something simple. Thanks for your help, Shirley, but it's fine. You don't have to do anything. I'm just glad you came. If you can get to sleep, then maybe you should sleep. But isn't it chilly by the window? Come to the bedroom. I want to be here right now. It's my favorite place. I always like to see my son coming home from kindergarten, or Keith coming home from work. This must be a great place then. Helena, you remind me of a friend of mine. She got along really well with her husband. So, when her husband left, she was very depressed. She told me that her son's support helped her get her back on her feet. She was a really good person. When I was introduced to her, she told me she was glad to have a daughter-in-law. But I didn't know much about becoming anyone's family. 
I thought, if my parents threw me away, how could I ever be a part of a stranger's family? And she noticed my worry, so she told me this. While I had an unhappy marriage, through it, I met my beloved son. But not everyone can have such happy meetings. So, if you're unsure, I won't mind if you run away. Ultimately, I let anxiety get the best of me and I ran. And by the time I resolved to come back, she was already gone. I still regret my cowardice, but I know it's too late. David seemed to think that you and Keith didn't get along, but I never thought that for a second. You were always so concerned for Keith, and Keith always sounded kind when he spoke to you. I knew you must have really valued each other. I thought I'd like to be like that myself, but it's not so easy. I still don't know how to go about it. I'm sure you just need lots of wonderful memories. It's okay, Shirley. You two will be just fine. Thanks. Why do the people so close to you always have to go so soon? H Helena, sorry, uh, I was cleaning the living room and I and I broke something. Uh, uh, hold on, what did you break? Uh, a glass cat? Y you broke a Swarovski ornament! What are you doing? That's why I said I should clean the storeroom. You know I'm clumsy. There's even more stuff in there! That would be a disaster! S say what? <laughs> You two are just too adorable. There's nothing to worry about, Shirley. You're a wonderful pair. I know you'll get on fine. I don't want any more bad dreams. I'm exhausted. I just want to have happy dreams. Helena! No! No, please! Helena... <laughs>